This is the first time attempting one stroke painting on my nails. I think it came out okay. Um, right now, I have an eye condition, so it's really hard for me to see uh, fine detail because uh, my right eye is really blurry, but this was my attempt on my right hand, which was way more difficult. But I guess it's something you really have to practice. So if I miss spots around my nails, sorry, I just can't see fine detail right now. So let's get started. I used a couple different polishes. There's a CMD, I believe that's Violent Shimmer. Um, that's Color Club. I'll get the name of it and put it in the description. Some glitter, a dotter, and um, I have two different brushes. So that's the tools we're using and a piece of paper and a napkin to wipe on. And that's it. So I put a little um, white and purple on my piece of paper and then I'm just going to dip the bottom end in the white. I'm going to flip it over and dip it in the purple and I'm just going to smooth it out. And now I'm going to start my first petal and you're just going to wiggle it. And you, I just bought the edge around. But now you kind of need to to see like if you need to flip your hand, do so. I'm I wipe my brush off in between. Not everybody does that, but just something I like to do. So now I'm going to do a second petal, and I'm going to dip my brush in again, and dip, and wipe. And I'm just going to wiggle it. And I'm going to wipe my brush. And dip. It's hard for me to see right now with my eye like this, but I'm going to do one more. And I'm just going to wiggle and turn the brush. And there's my flower. Now I'm going to take a very small amount of um, Zoya Snow Sickle. Make sure you really wipe the brush. And I'm not going to put it everywhere, but I'm going to put it right around here. And you could just dab it, you don't have to be perfect. It's just to add a little bit of a layer to it. And you're going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to do some dotting. You always want to plan ahead how you're going to do the dotting. Um, it doesn't hurt to practice on a fake nail or piece of paper. You could just draw on this paper. I'm going to take some of this purple and I don't want it to be real dark so I'm actually going to dot on the paper first to get it lighter and I think this is what I'm going to do for this one so I just did that way and then I'm going to go the other way I'm going to dot my paper. You can use your finger on the other side of your hand to kind of steady yourself. So there's my little design. Now I'm going to put some um, glitter on. So the first step of that is to use the CMD effects. What I do with this is I put it on where I didn't put the Zoya. So kind of over here. And I also put a little bit of this on the edge of my petals. Just 
it's a preference thing, it's not something you have to do if you don't have that, then don't worry about it. You can use clear, you can use Zoya over the whole back of the nail, whatever you want to do. So I'm actually going to let that dry to it's still tacky because I want to brush the glitter on it. So you don't want to let it dry all the way, but just let it dry for a little bit. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water. I'm going to put it on a brush. It's just a little bit wider of a brush. It's nothing that big. I'm going to dip it in the glitter and brush off any excess. And then I'm just going to tap it onto the nail where I just put that polish. And again, you could do this wherever you want, but I just kind of wanted it to be just a slight brushing. And that's basically finished. I'm just going to put a coat of um, clear on top, whatever you have, and you're done. So I'm going to go over, once again, how to do the stroke. All right, so you're going to dip. And one side. My air conditioner's on, so it's kind of drying up my paint. Dip in another side. Swipe. Jiggle your brush. And then bring it down. Now you might say, well, what happens, you know, is there a right or wrong way to jiggle your brush? Well, there kind of is actually because um, sometimes let's jiggle it a lot and see what happens. Kenna doesn't blend as nice um, if you jiggle the brush too much. And you'll get used to this as you're doing it. Oh, and see, when I swiped, I saw no whites coming off, so I'm just going to start over. I have to put more paint down. Swipe. Now, what if, um, as you're turning, you're jiggling it a little bit. You don't have to be really firm in it. You can actually do it a little bit more to get some more ridges at the top. But it blends nice if you just go like this, slightly. Um, if you push down too hard and do it, that's what it's going to look like. And it just gets a little muddier. So it really depends on what you're going for. And you can don't have to do two colors. You can do um, one color and just load your brush. and still make a purple flower if that's what you want. And at least it'll look more even if you're not good at freehanding things. You know, you could just do it on the other side and just keep going around. And you can just make the same color. And if you want to start there to practice, you can. But I would suggest you just get two different colors, dip, flip, wipe, and then you just jiggle a little bit. Slightly move and you'll learn the pressure as the more you try. So let me know if you try it, how it comes out.